Okay, so let's go ahead and see the next tool. It is called the Rolling Edit tool. And where is it located? Well, it's actually located in the same place as this Ripple Edit tool, but you just gotta have to press left mouse key. And then you can see there is a couple of them hiding in the same place. And this is the Rolling Edit tool, or you can just press N whenever you're on the timeline, and it's gonna choose Rolling Edit tool. Okay, so you can see that it has a similar sign to the ripple edit tool, but it has two arrows going both ways. And it's actually pretty cool because what it allows you to do, for example, like let's say we're over here and we see this bee starts to fly. Well, let's say we want to have, we want to trim this one here. Like let's say over here. So when you see this kind of, the camera starts going out of focus, I wanna, for example, trim it over here because it's not really very sharp. So let's go ahead and trim it up, up to here, there. There we go. So if I place the mouse pointer right where these two clips connect and I pull it to the left, you can see that it automatically adds footage to the right and it trims the footage to the left. So let's go ahead and see that like this. Okay, there we go. It basically moves the line between two clips, editing to the one that's on the right and, and trimming the one that's on the left. It's really handy when you wanna trim two clips at the same time, but you wanna live the same length of your film. Let's say you have a film that's gotta be one minute and then you already have all the footages on, this, on the timeline and you cannot make it smaller or bigger. It has to be one minute Instead of trimming it and adding extra parts, all you do is just move the line and then you, it's gonna add, and then it's gonna add more of one clip and trim more of the other clip. So that's how it works. So this is it guys, I hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Also let me know in the comment section below what other videos you want me to make. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.